Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, we'll be reviewing the Collecte 2023 Shastasaurus. This was my second most anticipated Collecte model for this year, behind the Mosasaurus. It's always exciting to have new prehistoric marine animals, and Ichthyosaurs are a very underrated group of marine animals. It's also great that Collecte decided to choose the potentially largest Ichthyosaur. Figures of giant Ichthyosaurs are unfortunately uncommon. Let's take out the ruler for some measurements. From head to tail, this Shastasaurus is exactly 10 inches long. And for a flipper span, it's about 3.5 inches wide. So if Shonisaurus sikaniensis really belongs in the Shastasaurus genus, then this animal would be a whopping 69 feet in length. So with those measurements, this figure would be in the 183 scale range. I know there is a lot of debate whether Shonisaurus sikaniensis belongs in the Shonisaurus or Shastasaurus genus. Despite the most recent study in 2021 that placed the species in the Shonisaurus genus, Collecte went down the Shastasaurus path. Of course, we don't know for sure, as both of these animals are known from fragmentary remains. Some people have been complaining that this figure is too small and should have been in the deluxe range. I do see where they're coming from, since Shastasaurus was potentially the largest marine reptile, though I'm assuming it was put in the standard range to avoid confusion with the deluxe Mosasaurus. If you think about it, the Shastasaurus and the Mosasaurus figure are quite similar physically. From the narrow snouts, to the slender bodies, the short tail, and the tail flukes. Starting off with the head sculpt, it looks like your typical ichthyosaur. It's long, pointy, and very dolphin-like. Inside of the mouth, there is no teeth. And then going down, there's the jawline, the ear hole. And ichthyosaurs are thought to be like modern day cetaceans, where they have smooth skin and are warm blooded. And Collecte replicated that perfectly on here, but they still went the extra mile to give it some um, extra detailing, like these lines you see sculpted all over the figure. From the top, all the way down to the bottom. And there's the ridge, which indicates where the spinal cord is. And there's also barnacles, much like modern day baleen whales. They're actually scattered throughout the body, but they can be they can be prominently seen on the pectoral fins and the pelvic fins. And then going down, there's the relatively short tail and the vertical tail fluke. The paint job is very simple but still appealing. It's black on the top and white on the underbelly. Very dark colors always look great with bright colors reminiscent of an orca or even a penguin. Now I have two issues with the paint. The first one is the paint application of the barnacles. From a distance, you, you really can't spot any errors until you take a closer look. Yeah, the paint is poorly applied to the barnacles. It looks like someone just took a thin paintbrush and started poking um, dots all over the figure. And the durability of the black paint feels pretty weak. If you're holding this, I recommend you handle it with care. Just like the deluxe Mosasaurus, the pose is very simple. The animal is swimming straight with its tail moving from side to side. Time to start with our comparisons. First, let's bring in the two other ichthyosaurs from Collecte, the Temnodontosaurus and the Excalibosaurus. Both are great models. Collecte has yet to do a deluxe ichthyosaur, and if they do one in the future, I'm hoping it's Shonisaurus or Thalato Archon. Next, let's bring in two other giant ichthyosaur figures that I have. First is this hefty piece of plastic, the Schleich Shonisaurus, which is a really good figure. And here is the PNSO Himalayasaurus. Here are the ichthyosauruses from Safari LTD and the Carnegie Collection. And here is the Bullyland Ichthyosaurus. Let's bring in four more Ichthyosaurus. Here's the PNSO Urinosaurus, the Chapme Ophthalmosaurus, the Toyway Walking with Dinosaurs Ophthalmosaurus, and the Play Visions Mixosaurus. Now let's bring in some Collecte marine animals. Here's the 2023 Deluxe Mosasaurus. Here are two massive Pliosaurs. 
the Pliosaurus, and the Chronosaurus. Next, we have more plesiosaurs, the Thalassomedon, Elasmosaurus, and Dolichorhynchops. Here is the Relichia Rex, the Bellum Knight, and the Orthoceras. Let's bring out the Basilosaurus, which is currently Collecte's only prehistoric marine mammal. Next up is the Megalodon and Dunkelosteus. Last but not least, here is the Collecte Xyphactinus and the Collecte Mini Xyphactinus. Well, there you have it everyone. That was my review on the Collecte 2023 Shastasaurus. Overall, it's a very neat and simple piece. The first Shastasaurus model to my knowledge. The paint applications for the barnacles could have been better, but the colors as well as the sculpt and scientific accuracy are all splendid just like most of Collecte's work. So I'm going to give this ichthyosaur a 9 out of 10. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a comment down below, like and subscribe, it really supports my channel. And I will see you all in the next video.